Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Historicus Forma, and welcome to a Cracking the Box. Today we've got uh, a kit from Berlin Productions. This is their Celtic Warrior 2810 is the stock number, and a 132nd scale, which is obviously our also 54 millimeter. Um, this is going to be a resin kit. Uh, it's uh, made in the USA, as it clearly says on the box. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, flip my little camera here to off onto autofocus, and we'll go ahead and open our, uh, I think we need to actually, actually open it from this side. That's all that's in the box, so we'll go ahead and take a look. Everything's included in this one bag of resin. The Verlinden Productions website mention, or Facebook mention, you can find them at www.facebook.com slash Verlinden Productions, and make sure to give them a like. All right, so here's the base. Um, the Celtic Warrior body has got a nice chainmail detail here. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and reset my focus so I can show you some close up of detail. So you can see a uh, nice chainmail detail there. Um, the arms, obviously, and head and, and feet all attached to this, this part torso. There's uh, the chainmail uh, backing. Uh, going over his back. I'm not sure what that part's called. I should know all this stuff. I'm into the whole med medieval stuff, but uh, you know, you have to memorize things. Oh, my brain. Uh, here's the head. <clears throat> He's got kind of a yell expression going on, and uh, probably uh, the, as the picture shows, he's kind of in combat or in. He's holding up the the. Is that a Roman head? I'm gonna guess a Roman head. Maybe maybe they're fighting the fighting the uh, the Romans. It doesn't give a time reference here. So I'm not sure what uh, period of Celtic warrior this is. It kind of looks Roman because he's got this Roman headpiece on that I'm sure he probably maybe took or borrowed some of the design from. So uh, yeah, but uh, good detail on this. I mean, I hope you can see um, some of the nice work there. I know the light is maybe a little too bright coming through here right now. So. And uh, the uh, here is uh, the head he's holding. Obviously, also is important. Hand is sculpted right onto there. There will be some photos at the end of this <coughs> unboxing portion. Lose my voice. <clears throat> so uh, make sure you, if you want to, um, uh, you can always skip ahead to those if you want to see more of the close-up details. Without my rambling commentary, but I like how that figure's like got his mouth open too, like he's kind of like ah, I died. Uh, <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> he killed me. Uh, here is one of the uh, I want to say the, the arms. Yeah, the arms. The arm holding the head, probably. So you can see the there's not a big sculpt out portion here or, or section for the the uh, the clothing where there obviously be a hole here going down into his arm. So that probably would have to be painted in. Um, here's the sword and, and scabbard detail. Hilt's not included, but there's some nice Celtic. Um, iron working going on there with the scabbard. Um, the short sword uh, is actually attached. The hilt's attached to his arm, so here's him holding the the hilt and the arm. Oops, and I didn't mean to bump the camera. Calm camera, calm. So yeah, that all looks good. And the base itself um, has some nice detail. A little bit, a little bit too. Uh, I don't know. Uh, some of this would have to be roughed down, I think, to really... Of course, you could add additional things to it. Let me see what they did. They didn't really do that on the cover, but it's supposed to be rocks and stuff, but some of those look a little too globular to my taste. I mean, this looks like a rock, obviously, but the groundwork looks a little too rough, but you could fix it up. That's not a problem. Um, the legs, um, he's wearing kind of a boot covering. I guess it's got a buckle on there. I guess that would be considered a regular boot. It just From this side, it looked more like a, almost like a wrap. Uh, bare legs exposed. He's wearing short pants. Must have already been in style back then in the 6th century. I have no idea what. 3rd century maybe. I don't know. Uh, it'd be nice to have a time reference on this one. Because I think that would be beneficial for some people who don't want to have to do research to see. All right, which which period is he you know, getting here? All right, let's take a look at some close-up photos. I and mean, take all that stuff off blur. Uh, we'll take a look at some photos and uh, come back and conclude.
Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the photos of the Celtic Warrior from Berlin Productions. Uh, I'm not sure if this is 100% new kit or not, or new mold, but uh, they are, you know, they do have their, their old catalog as well as some new kits uh, that are coming out. I believe this might be one of their new ones. Um, I had it selected anyways. Uh, I'd like to apologize to them for, for these taking so long to come out in some fashion. Obviously, we were looking for people to uh, do some of these, but I also wanted to, you know, get them to the right people and it just I don't know just we got a lot of product from Berlin you may you may see more of these being leaked out uh, via me so uh, hopefully I'll get through uh, quite a few of their their newer kits and uh, again this is available for a actual build uh, paint up you know project thing um, so if you're interested in that please let me know uh, publisher at kitmaker.net please leave some feedback and comments as well and you be sure to click the like button and we'll see you next time on cracking the box mm -hmm.